Hi guys, welcome back to Beautifully Bookish Bethany where I have new videos every week about books and the geeky mom lifestyle. If you're new to reading or if you're just wondering what book you should pick up next, one place to start is by looking at some of your favorite movies. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing read-alike book titles based on different movies. liked Gladiator or Braveheart, then you should try reading Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is the first book in an epic sci-fi series that takes inspiration from ancient Rome in terms of culture, war, and politics. The main character is a young man who starts a revolution after his wife is killed. If you liked The Shawshank Redemption or The Green Mile, then you should try Riot Baby by Tochi Onyabuchi. In this speculative novella, superpowers meet political resistance. It tackles racism in America, prisons, the criminal justice system, and racial inequality. If you liked The Sixth Sense, then you should try The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. This is a creepy mystery that includes ghosts, a serial killer, and women who are determined to find the truth. If you liked Back to the Future, then you should try The Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells, beginning with All Systems Red. This is a very fun sci-fi series, all told from the perspective of Murderbot, who is a biological AI who hacked his governor module, enjoys watching melodramatic television shows, and is always full of plenty of snark and sarcasm. If you liked Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring, then you should try The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. It might look intimidating, but honestly I flew through this. It's a smart, epic fantasy with an expansive world that follows a brilliant yet orphaned young musician who also wants to train in magic. The next one might seem like an odd one because the genres are different, but I actually think it's a really good fit. If you liked The Matrix, then you should try Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. This is not sci-fi, it's fantasy, but it follows a man who is suddenly thrust into a world that is not at all what he expected. It's got lots of twists and turns, unexpected surprises, and will probably keep you glued to the page. If you liked The Dead Poet Society, but you're interested in something a little bit darker, perhaps with a side of murder, then you should try reading The Secret History by Donna Tartt. This is a dark academia book that follow a group of students and their professor as they study the classics, and things take a very dark turn. If you liked Inglorious Bastards, then you should try reading The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. Set in an alternate Venice that has magic, this follows a gifted thief and con artist named Locke Lamora along with his entire crew as they try to pull off a heist and end up embroiled in some serious politics. It's action-packed, but it will probably also make you laugh. liked Kill Bill, then you should try reading Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. This is the first book in a very bloody dark fantasy series that follows a young woman training to become an assassin for the Red Church, but is hellbent on a mission of revenge. If you liked Black Panther, then you should try A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. This is an African-inspired fantasy novel that follows sisters who must fight to the death in order to determine who will become queen. If you liked Dark Knight, then you should try Chosen Ones by Veronica Roth. This is a subversive and grittier take on the superhero trope. It follows a woman who, along with a group of four others, had been chosen as a teenager to be a chosen one destined to defeat the Dark Lord. But now, ten years later, she is dealing with the symptoms of PTSD from the trauma she experienced. She has insomnia, she struggles to make relationships work, and her cohort of other chosen ones mostly aren't doing so well either. This also asks the question, if you faced it once and you have to deal with something similar again, are you going to handle it the same way or is it going to look a little bit different? This is one that I think would make a fantastic Netflix show and I kind of hope it gets picked up for that. If you 
liked The Guardians of the Galaxy, then you should try The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This is a fun, feel-good, very diverse sci-fi story that follows a ragtag crew on their adventures and misadventures. If you liked Star Wars, especially the original trilogy, then you should try The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, beginning with Cinder. But they feature plenty of action and adventure, a great villain, a bit of romance, and in book one you're introduced to a robot sidekick who fans of C-3PO and R2-D2 will probably fall for. Talk to me in the comments down below and let me know if this was helpful for you and if you'd like to see similar videos from me in the future. Hopefully, whether you're new to reading or just looking for your next book to pick up, this gave you a few new possibilities to try. Comment down below if you have other recommendations for people or if there are specific movies that you'd like to see me do read-alikes for in the future. I already have a video in the works where I'll offer read-alike titles for your favorite romance films, but if there are other things you'd like to see, let me know and maybe I'll make it happen. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.